there have been a few things I've learned in this last 11 days in the silence, just being with myself. And one is <clears throat> the ways I'm used to experiencing myself certain kinds of tensions and um, yeah, feelings assuming they're kind of the kind of the foundation or I don't think foundation is the right but say a certain way I hold tension in my ribs I've always seen that as kind of a deep thing in me that must be held there. And then just sitting still, at one point it it suddenly became clear to me that that tension was actually holding a whole load of other deeper tensions or sensations, actually. It's like body tensions often seem to trans transfer or transfigure into sensations and these sensations suddenly have a level of meaning and clarity about them that the previous tension didn't so it started to relate to yeah deeper ways like that I've struggled in my life especially around sexuality actually that that was a really surprising realization from that tension and brought a kind of a relief about that tension I'm often meditating with that tension and wondering kind of what kind of trauma it is and often sensing it's some relation to neglect and I think that's may be right and there'll be more to discover for me but then to suddenly see it then open up and start affecting my hips and pelvis area and my legs and getting memories of kind of yeah things relating around my sexuality and and it's suddenly giving me a kind of compassion for myself that wasn't available to me before around how it feels to be me and um yeah that's that's quite quite an experience and and that's where I'm learning more and more that self acceptance seems to be something we can learn and you know we can get inspired to deepen and we can practice around it but actually to to really deepen it actually is a process it actually requires us to go to a deeper level of honesty and feeling and vulnerability in ourselves but even those qualities of vulnerability and openness and um can't remember what I said now that um yeah, to go to a deep level of feeling those things as well are processes or things that we can't just want to have more of and that's that's both kind of relieving as well and and clarifying like so that there is something we can do yeah by learning and top down approaches like trying to understand things and getting clearer but it's actually through a more embodied but bottom up experience as well that we actually can really experience these things that inspire us and and that's where yeah the essence of meditation is becoming more and more about in that commitment to stillness and silence and being with myself interrupting all the habitual ways that 
I'm not able to be fully with myself and fully accept what it is to be me in that commitment it seems like things can start to come into awareness feelings can start to be felt and processes start to happen that wouldn't normally get the time or the they wouldn't they would be interrupted by the habits that that I normally do so even this habit around the tension in my ribs if I try and stretch it out or I have a habitual ways of holding there or or distracting myself with entertainment even even distracting myself with things I think are good for me like reading or doing exercise can actually be a way to interrupt these processes actually as well and it's it takes a real kind of clarity of understanding with the the practice the embodiment of staying with myself yeah it seems like it it requires both I don't I don't think someone can just sit still and then they'll start processing deep trauma Um, because if they don't really understand what they're doing or what's happening they'll just react they'll just they'll just interrupt it even in their meditation and that's the other thing that the the process (coughs) reveals is that even in the stillness it's not like we just sit still and then the out comes our trauma and out comes our lack of self-acceptance and in comes the clarity it's like no we actually are very much confronted with our resistances and uh, yeah trying to think of like the resistances I was experiencing um, there's definitely resistances to the pain I would often start to feel in my legs as the meditation went deeper. Uh, I think even a notice the kind of positive thinking that I would use to encourage myself to keep going or that um, kind of positive outlook of of the process or could also actually be a resistance to the sensations that were actually present for me so it's uh that was quite revealing and i think the last one i'll leave you with is there was a yeah quite a important moment of this sense of um just a mountain biker coming past me um a what it means to um really allow my experience or it was actually investigating like the ordinary sensations of myself or my being and just and yeah and that maybe was a resistance I saw is in this earnestness to go into the tensions and the distresses in my experience there's actually there an attempt to improve or um, heal or uh, process or integrate which actually gives the subtle message that everything's not okay as it is and so while that there's that double kind of like there's that earnestness and sincerity to try to be with myself and deepen actually within that is the the resistance or the the not being actually okay as I am and there was a moment where that just just started to become obvious and then it was like oh so if I'm just with the simple sense of myself it's actually quite ordinary 
and there was suddenly a, then a curiosity in wanting to be with the ordinariness of my experience and it was that moment that it was like oh that sh- this is actually just a uh, very touching and and then I'm just becoming mindful now of like talking too much about my own realizations because there's a way that that can also uh, create another kind of expectation of myself or um, and also yeah mindful of making more of my experience it's almost this yeah it's the same thing that I'm actually saying about being with the ordinariness of my experiences there's a way I can celebrate my realizations or my insights that has that same tendency to make the the heightened insights better than the simple ordinariness and it was well the the kind of the summary of it was that to experience myself without that pressure to have insight or to go deeper or to to integrate it it was so yeah so intimate and fresh and then ironically what then happened what it seemed like a lot of energy that maybe was suppressed previously just suddenly emerged very strongly within me but then even that then yeah it was just was for a time able just to dance with that as a sense of like that just being ordinary nothing to get too excited about so I hope that kind of makes uh, yeah gives you some sense of yeah what what's possible with meditation and um, imagine a lot of you this makes total sense and you've had your own kind of similar like experiences Um, and suddenly just started hearing the forest and losing track of where it was I was going it's very still here I feel a bit of vulnerability just wondering where that track was going stopping for a moment I think it's the vulnerability of just the need that I'm touching to express myself and connect with you. It's like I both feel like wanting to honour that need and then also kind of investigate it or be with it on a deeper level (laughs) or be with it in an ordinary way. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Yeah, thanks for listening and till soon.